this is Glenda with Freelands and Friends Crafts Plus. Hello! Today's craft is something unusual. I'm going to show how to make cherry jello <laughs> with applesauce, but I'm going to use the quick set method. Now, this is going to be, some of you may already know this, others of you may not, but this is the way it goes. I've already got my water boiled in the microwave. I didn't go near the stove. Okay. Here's my two cups of boiling water. And I need to change hands. I'm right-handed. I need to stir with my right hand. I'm using applesauce because that's what I've got on hand. Sometimes you can use you can use fruit cocktail or whatever you prefer. Some people use veggies. And I don't have a jello mold. Those were gone a long time ago. We just serve it right out of this. Okay. Now, my quick set. That seemed to be all. I like to use a wooden spoon. I feel like if there's any resistance down there from any. Excuse me. From any jello that's not dissolved, I'll feel it better with the wooden spoon. Maybe that's just my own deal. I don't know. It's just. It is my deal. Now, I will keep stirring this until it starts to look somewhat set up. I don't want it full set. I just want it kind of cold and half set so that the applesauce will suspend in, or whatever fruit, will suspend in there instead of showing all up at the bottom when it's done. Also, want everybody to pray that everybody's safe out there on these roads and in this bitter, bitter cold. We are in such a cold snap. And anybody who has to be out in this at all, stir that a little faster. This is really melting this ice. Anyway. But anybody who is out in this stuff, skin, they're warning, keep all skin covered because it can get, throw a couple more in there, it can get frostbit within oh, probably 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. It's that cold. And I am... Assuming Joe made it to work fine today. There's a lot of times I do have to just assume that. I mean, it's a 45 minute to hour drive, depending on road conditions, for him to get there. That's getting nice and cool. But by the time you see this, he'll, he'll already be home. But this is supposed to last all week. It might warm up a little tomorrow, but a little from 20 below is still a little. <laughs> and it all depends on the wind chill, too. It's hard for me to... This bowl, it's for the mixer. And it's just, for some reason, it's just a little bit rough on the bottom. So... But it is just rough on the bottom. Oh. Well, that's taking a lot of ice. Oh, my back. Come on now. I 
Now, <laughs> this probably is not going to have as much as the two extra cups of water. It's going to be a little firmer. That's fine. As far as I'm concerned, that doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to let it sit here for just a minute. Let it set up just a little more. Oh. I'll just refill my ice tray. <laughs> Rinse it first. Oh. We do use a water filter. We didn't use to, but uh, it seems like since, well, we quit taking the paper, but generally if there was anything wrong with the water, it didn't get <laughs> published till after the fact. And most of the time it's nothing that's going to hurt you, but uh, I just feel better not getting tummy aches from it. You can see it's starting to get somewhat, somewhat set just from the spoon. Now, my grandmother, when she made this, she would have Red Hots. I don't know if any of you remember those, those little Red Hot candies. And while it was still really hot, she would melt those in and melt them in the jello roll. She'd melt them in the boiling water that she was putting in the jello. And oh, that was good. That cinnamony taste from those. And it just had a tiny bite. It wasn't that hot. Just had a tiny little bit of a bite. Okay. I could probably add a couple more things of applesauce, but I think I will. These aren't, these really don't hold as much as a person might think. If I had a jar of jello, depending on the size, but if I had a regular size bottle of Mott's jello or something, not sponsored, I would probably, excuse my leaning, my back is getting a little mean. Oh, I'm getting the wrong side. Anyway, if I did have one, I'd probably put at least half of it in there. Okay. Now, what I call regular size. <laughs> I guess that's probably something up for debate. Make sure there's no clumps of applesauce in there. That is going to set up. I mean, I don't think it will hurt my feelings to get a little bite of applesauce, but I just don't want it in there. Don't want the lumps. I don't like, I never made lumpy gravy. I don't want to make lumpy jello. Okay. Now I'm going to refrigerate it. And that is going to be something we're going to enjoy for supper. And when it's set, I'll spoon a little out and let you sh see what it's like without the red hot. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. I forgot to check the clock, turn the clock on, but it's, it's 
pretty much sauce it. The applesauce kind of makes it so it's not quite as hard set as as some. But this is what I've got, and you can see the applesauce is all through there. Mmm. That's good. The only thing that would make it better is the Red Hots. <laughs> a person could put in cinnamon and sugar or a little cinnamon, but I don't know how well it would distribute. <sighs> the Red Hots, I don't know. I think they just probably work better. <laughs> so, hmm. I'm going to eat me some jello. See? I shake and that's still, oh. <laughs> I shake and it's still set up good, so. Hmm, hmm. I like these little bowls. They're actually little ice cream dishes. <laughs> if we'd use these for ice cream, more often than the bigger bowls, <laughs> we'd lose weight a lot faster. <laughs> mm. Well, I will see you tomorrow. No, I will see you Friday. And if you get a notion to get out some jello and some applesauce or something, fruit cocktail, that's one way to fast set it. I didn't time it, but it's probably been about an hour. It would have set faster, I think, if it wasn't for the applesauce. Because applesauce kind of, you know, maybe like a little bit more liquid or something. But it's still set. And I, and I think it's going to be wonderful to eat later. So, I hope that this is something you will enjoy. Apples, I mean, Joe's not gone. A lot of people still eat Jello. So, love you all. I will talk to you Friday. <laughs>